After the incident in August 2017, over 520,000 people from Mandal district of Rakhine state have fled to Bangladesh. The government is carrying out the repatriation process according to the bilateral agreement between Myanmar and Bangladesh, and 171 people have been repatriated so far. The government is also making arrangements for accommodations of the returnees by laying down the village plans. <laughs> Previously, the villages had been spread in without systematic arrangements. About 20 houses had been formed like a village. Even some had four or five houses. They had no systematic administrative methods. So after the incident, the government has laid down the village plans. We plan to build school, clinic, market, town hall and sport ground, depending on the number of population. The new villages are planned to be built near their original places. The returnees have to pass through the immigration process at Ngakuya and Dambulawe reception centers and will be accommodated temporarily at Lapugang Transit Center. <laughs> Once they have returned, they need to apply for the NVC cards. But for those who already have been issued the three full identity card, do not have to apply for NVC. They need to apply for the citizenship step by step. There will be different opportunities between the ones who are eligible to become the citizens and those who are not eligible to become the citizens. But with the humanitarian concept, we will provide protection to everyone by law. We have permitted the NVC holdouts the freedom of movement within Mountor area. If they wish to go to other areas for education and health access, they can apply at respective immigration departments in line with the immigration process. At present, Mondo district has over 300,000 populations in 703 villages and 31 wards. Among these villages, 240 villages are being resided by the local nationals, 447 villages by the Bengalis, and 16 villages by both communities.